Hello beautiful yogi and welcome back to your mat. So today on the mat I am going to go over what crystal we're going to be using today, what tools are going to be needed and what you can expect out of your practice and then we'll get flowing on the mat, okay? So first off our crystal of the week is a carbona. It works to balance out all chakras, to calm down the being. It really has a lot of great gentle and peaceful energy to it. And it clears out the negative energy around us. So thus far, we've kind of worked with crystals on our mat that shed negative energy within our being, within ourselves, right? This one, though, is going to do it with the energy around you. So this is a great stone to kind of keep in your house, within your meditation space, within your yoga space. Um, you can even put it in the car, under your pillow, you name it. You can do whatever you want with it. But it is a super wonderful stone and I really like it a lot. So tools that you're going to need. You're going to need a block. Um, I have a cork block, which I really love the cork blocks. Um, they're really great for like a firm, steady, solid foundation where the foam blocks could be a little bit wobbly or a little bit squishy. So whatever you're after, that's totally cool. This one actually came from MyFit Products and I'm actually on the Quirk Yoga Mat, which I really love so far. I've never had a Quirk Yoga Mat and they sent this to me. And I like that it has a little bit of squishiness to it, a little bit of give, right? And you're able to kind of stick into it, especially when you get a little sweaty, you kind of stick to it a little bit better. So I will link down my fit products within the description if you want to check it out if you need some tools and um yeah so what you can expect out of your practice today this is kind of in ashtanga inspired flow we're going to turn up the breath we're going to make the breath audible and we're really going to root down within our mat we're going to concentrate on releasing and shedding unwanted and needed energy because when we do this we release root and rise right so i really want you to concentrate on setting intention and releasing energy and bringing in the energy that you want to bring in because you can get deliberate specific and create you okay so we're going to really just focus on radiating our beauty and believing in our beauty today go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit the bell if you want to get notified for future videos Roll up the mat, mat and finally, let's get started. Meet me at the top of your mat in a standing pose, okay? Go ahead and begin at the top of your mat in a Samasthiti. Go ahead and bring the palms together. Bring the elbows up to meet in line with the wrists. Go ahead and breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. I want you to go ahead and bring the arms up above the head, reaching up, spreading the fingers, making space for your practice. Inhale and exhale to lean back just a little bit, squeezing the, the glutes together to protect the back. Inhale to come up, Samasthiti. And go ahead and take a deep inhale and exhale forward fold. You can bring the toes together or you can walk the feet apart just a little bit here. Breathe into it, make space. Go ahead and fold the arms, drop the neck and head, bend slightly at the knees, and relax. Hone into your practice. Release the day's work and come into you. Go ahead and halfway lift up into monkey pose, pressing the palms into the shins, lengthening through the head and the tailbone. 
Weight is in the balls of the toes. Just a little bit. Sit. Breathe in. Breathe out. Plant the hands onto the ground. Go ahead and step back into a plank pose. Making sure your foundation is strong. Rooting the hands into the ground. Toes firm into the mat. And heels press back. Lengthening through the crown of the head. Pulling that core in. Yes. Okay, now we're just going to, we're going to pull our elbows in slightly and then bend at the elbows into low plank and then pop up into cobra, lifting the chest or upward facing dog as many know it. Pulling the elbows in towards each other, pulling the shoulder blades back and chest to the sky. Feet press firmly into the ground here, okay? Take one more breath. And from here, we're just gonna pull the, pull the tips of the toes into the ground, into the mat. You're going to push into the toes, push the heels back, lift the hips to the sky, push the hands into the ground, and downward dog. Ah, yes. Go ahead and walk out your dog a little bit. Pressing the heels back and down, back and down. Yep. Really just breathing here and feeling into your practice. We're just warming up, right? Maybe even finding stillness if that's what you need today. Take a deep breath. Go ahead and walk your hand or your feet up to your hands. Coming back up into a monkey pose. Really feeling into this pose and focusing a little bit up in front of you, focusing your mind. Inhale and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Go ahead and reach the arms up overhead. Tense glutes, lean back in the sun. Inhale to come up. Stretch up, Samas DT. Welcome to your practice, yogi. Welcome back to you and welcome to the mat. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, so we're gonna find our Ujjayi breath. I'm gonna walk you through it, okay? So go ahead and just stay here, palms together, elbows lift up, and I want you to really root the toes down, root the feet down so you have that firm, grounded foundation. And you're gonna inhale through the nose, and exhale out the mouth. Inhale through the nose, and exhale out the mouth. I want you to begin to make your breath audible, to hear it out loud, to really feel the breath. Let's do a few more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and slow it back down. And now we're going to do that same breath, but we're going to do it in and out of our nose. So go ahead and bring the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Closing the lips. Inhaling through the nose. And out through the nose. I want you to really exhale and feel the exhale. Elongate a little bit and really make it audible again, okay? As you do that, your belly is going to kind of ex uh, expand as you inhale and really pull that navel in as you exhale, okay? Inhale. 
and let's continue. So go ahead and reach up overhead. Inhaling, exhaling to lean back. Inhale. Exhale, Sama Stiti. Hinge at the hips and fold forward. Go ahead and really round down, pulling the shin or the calves or the ankles, pulling your hands into the mat, really rounding into your forward fold. Inhale to come up into monkey. Firmly press into where you can. Press the hands into the shins, the toes into the ground, the heels root down. Inhale. Exhale, plant the hands into the mat. Step back into plank. Yes. Strong, strong, strong. I want you to be here. Go ahead and root into the ground. Make your firm foundation. Press the heels back. Pull in the core. And make space up into the upper shoulders. Yes. Go ahead and pull the elbows slightly in. Draw. Um, pull the elbows straightly. <laughs> pull the elbows slightly in. We're back. Okay. And then go ahead and rock the toes forward a little bit. Bend the elbows. Press the chest up into the sky. Upward facing dog. Really open up the chest here. Relax the bottom half of your body. Press the feet firmly into the ground. Go ahead and tuck the toes. Yep. Push the heels back. Hips go to the sky and you are there. Downward dog. I want you to really plant the hands into the ground. Reject the floor through the hands. Push back. Lengthen through the shoulders. Really feel that stretch. We're not really paying attention to our heels here. They can do whatever they want. If you want to walk it out, you can. Or find stillness, you'll have the option. Breathe into our downward dog. Make your breath audible. Turn up the breath. We're going to be here for a couple more breaths, okay? Exhale, all residual air. Go ahead and step up to your hands. Monkey, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root and rise. Lengthen up. Stretch the hands, spread the fingers. Pull the glutes in towards each other. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, up. And Samasthiti. Go ahead and put your right hand on your heart and your left hand over your right hand. Close the eyes. Give yourself a moment of appreciation. Give yourself a moment of love, of joy, of warmth, wholeness, and you. Really feel into your practice. Feel into this moment. Let's set intention together. Usually I kind of let you set your own intention, but I'm feeling called to kind of walk you through intention today, okay? So if it doesn't serve you in this moment, um, please pick another intention. Otherwise, uh, you're welcome to join me. Okay, so I want you to really breathe in your chest as you soak in these words. Feel free to say them out loud or think them in your head. I want you to set intention to clear out anything that is not serving you. And bring in joy. To bring in that vibrant you, the bold you. 
bring in peace, love, laughter, momentum, ease, purpose. Fill up, soak in, radiate, shine, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, soak in. Hold the breath for just a moment. Exhale, let go, release. Go ahead and bring the palms together again. Lift up the elbows. Go ahead and reach up, spread the fingers, lean back, sun. Inhale up, Samasviti as you exhale. We're going to really flow through this next sun salutation pretty fast. So um, feel free to just flow with me. I'm not going to give you as many cues since we've already been through it. So if you need to look up here, please do. I'll be flowing with you. Okay. Samus BT. Elbows come up. Inhale. Exhale. Forward fold. Slight bend of the knees. Drop the neck and head. Relax into your forward fold. Pull yourself into your forward fold. Inhale up into monkey. Making that firm foundation, pressing into the corners of your being. Inhale. Exhale, plant the hands down. Step back, plank pose. Get strong. Believe in your strength. Tell your body you are strong and it will be strong. Pull up, pull in, make space. Go ahead and low plank, upward facing dog. Open that chest, chin comes to chest. You don't really want it up. You just want it kind of slight back. Tuck the toes, downward dog. Press in, find stillness, walk it out, choice is yours. Inhale, fill up. And walk your feet to your hands, monkey. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Reach up long, lengthen through the crown of the head, through the hands. Exhale, lean back. Inhale up. Stretch up. Samasthiti. We've done it. Okay, we're going to move on to our next sun salutation. So from here, I want you to just walk the feet out so they're out or in, whatever you you're at right now. Walk them in so they're right just in direct line with the hips, okay? So just kind of where it's comfortable. I don't want you too far and I don't want you too in, okay? Just make it real comfortable. Kind of rock back and forth on your feet for a second. Up and down, yeah. Okay, go ahead and find that stillness, and I want you to really rock the toes into the ground. Spread them as you do it. Really find that rooted foundation. Press down into the ground, and now I want you to just kind of bend in at the knees. Just a little bit. And from here, we're going to move into chair pose, okay? So go ahead and find that bend in the knees, right in between the toes and the ankles. Aha. Uh -huh. Press the hips back and down. Go ahead and lengthen up through the hands. Spread the fingers, perfect. Really pull in that core. Find a point where you can steady your gaze, something that does not move. Back to the breath, turn it up. Mm. 
Make space, fill up, make room. Exhale, release. Back down, forward fold. That wasn't meant to be so dramatic, but it was. <laughs> Go ahead and hone into your forward fold. Maybe pulling down. Go ahead and plant the hands into the ground. Plank pose. Remember, press the toes into the ground. Hands press firmly. Really spread the fingers. Hold that core in. Belly button to the spine. Perfect. Make space. Root down. Find strength. Turn up the breath. One more breath. Low plank. Cobra. Upward facing dog. Ooh, yes. Feeling it? Open up that chest. Tuck the toes. Downward dog. I want you to inhale and we're going to exhale forcefully out through the mouth, okay? And adjust, sorry. Okay, so inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Take one more if you wish, if you need it. Late, bend at the knees slightly and push the tailbone to the sky. Lengthening, finding strength, making space. And now I want you to take, uh, plant your left foot firmly into the ground. Pop the right foot up behind you. Bring it up all the way to the sky. Stay here for just a moment in your three-legged dog. Inhale. And exhale, bring the knee to the chest. I want you to press the left toes up and then plant that right foot right in front of you so that they're right, but right by their, your hands. All right, go ahead and really find your low lunge here, okay? Perfect. And now we're gonna find strength. We're gonna pull the hips together and towards each other. Root the feet down to the ground. And bring the hands to the sky as you bring your body up. Lengthen up. Perfect. Find your strength. Pull the hips towards each other. Right knees at 90 degrees or right leg. Perfect. Breathe. Go ahead and make a fist if you need a little bit of grounding. This will help. Bring the strength down. Focus your gaze. All right, now we're gonna take our left foot, plant it down, plant the heel down. Bring the left toes about 11 o'clock-ish. Bend the right knee. Warrior two, open up the arms. And again, I want you to make a fist. Make fist, pretty tight fist. You can put your thumbs into the fist. We'll help a little bit. Pull the shoulder blades together, making sure the arms are parallel to each other. Right knee comes 90 degrees. Breathe in, breathe out. Go ahead and just tip back for just a moment, finding that lengthening in the side body, really opening up. Breathe in, breathe out, tip the other way into side angle pose. And from here, it's really great. You can put a block here and really just lean into the block with your hand and then pull your chest open to the side and then just gently bring the hand to the sky. Spread the fingers. 
Bring the gaze to the fingers if you'd like. You can bring the gaze down to your feet if you'd like. The option is yours. Breathe. Turn up the breath. And release. Set the block off to the side. Go ahead and bring the hands down to the ground, and I want you to just hop switch. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more time. So you just plant the hands into the ground, push into the hands, and then just pop. It's kinda hard to explain. Yep, okay. Again, we're in that low lunge, so I want you to really find where you can root into the mat. 90 degrees in the left leg. Push the toes into the ground and push the right heel to the back of the room. Perfect. Hips pull in towards each other. Yes. Breathe in, breathe out. Go ahead and tip up into your crescent lunge. Hands come up to the sky. Make a fist, pulling the palms in towards each other tightly. Really rooting into the mat. Finding your strength, pulling in that core. Bring a smile to your face. Two more breaths. All right, release. Go ahead and bring out to the side, finding that warrior two. Toes come to 11 o'clock. Left leg comes 90 degrees. Find a strength, pull the core in. Arms come out. Gaze turns forward. Pull the thumbs in and make a fist. Here I want you to concentrate on really bringing the shoulder blades towards each other, not rounding at the chest. When we do this, as we pull our shoulder blades together, this is gonna open up the chest. It's also going to ensure that we stay kind of parallel, right? That we're lengthening. Feel the firm, strong foundation. Feel the warrior within you. Turn the breath up. Deepen into the pose. Go ahead and turn back to the back to make a back bend. Tip back and then tip forward. Side angle, so you can stay here if you don't have a block. And totally just rest your um, arm onto your thigh. You can also bring it down to the ground or down to the ankle. Okay. If you have a block, it's my favorite pose to use a block in. Okay. Go ahead, open up the side body, really breathing into the ribs here, okay? Stretching that arm overhead as if someone were pulling that hand. Breathe in, breathe out, release. Set the block off on the side, plant the hands into the ground, come into plank pose. Go ahead and bend at the elbows, come forward into Cobra. And from here, instead of a downward dog, we're gonna take a child's pose. So go ahead and just come up onto a tabletop, bring the toes together, and then just set the hips back. Kind of cozy and you can kind of rock back and forth if that serves you. Slowing down the breath for just a moment. Go ahead and lengthen out the hands, pushing the chest down to the ground. 
or had her cheek meets to the mat. And here I really want you to concentrate on refreshing your energy, okay? Really re-evaluating where you're at in your practice. So soak in your breath, fill up, make space, create more you. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, out your mouth, fill up the mat. Inhale. Exhale, out the mouth. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, out the mouth. Staying in that child's pose. Bring your hips to the sky, downward dog. Press down, stretch it out. Now we're gonna bring our left leg to the sky. All the way, keeping our three-legged dog for just a moment, breathing. Left leg comes to the chest. Plants in front of you. Bring your right foot to meet your left foot, forward fold. Okay, now we're gonna bring a real good bend in the knees. And then go ahead and bring the upper body up into chair pose. So really adjust here, find where it feels comfortable. If you feel any like pinching or like weird Kind of pulling and things and you need to readjust so go ahead and root into the ground really finding where it's comfortable and your body can root breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out all right come up stand up oh that feel good take a moment to re Coop break, kind of, right? <laughs> Regather your energy. Regather your breath. Maybe shake it out. Yas. So go ahead and Close your eyes for just a moment. Bring the palms together. Come back to the breath. Turn it up. <laughs> Open the eyes. Bring a smile to your face. Okay, we're gonna bring the left uh, foot back, turn open to the side of your mat. Bring your feet so they're just pointing forward. Okay, so now we're just gonna rock our hips back and forth. This is gonna create a little bit of kind of rooting into the mat with our feet, right? So really feel the edges of your feet as you do this. You can kind of dance it out if you want. <laughs> or not, but you do you, be you. Go ahead and breathe into it. Okay, find that stillness. Find the center. Perfect. We made it. Okay, we're going to bring our arms into a cross or a T. Pull the shoulder blades together. Open up the chest. And now we're going to just hinge at the hips, fold forward. You can hang, you can bring your hands down to the mat, to the ankles, or even to a block. I'm actually going to do the block just for fun's sake, I guess. Showing sake. Let your heart rate slow down. 
Let your neck and head relax. Go ahead and gently bring the right hand over to the side here. And walk the hands over to the, the other side. And back to the middle, perfect. Go ahead and turn your feet so they're pointing the other direction, turning the body. And it's a great place to grab your block once again. So I like to just kind of set it right in front of my toes here. This is a pyramid pose. If you need to walk the feet in or walk the feet out, please do so. So go ahead, root your feet down. I want you to pull the hips in towards each other. Find a little bit of balance. Find where it's comfortable enough to stay. And I want you to really feel the stretch in the hamstrings. Really just feel them waking up. Feel them, you know, just feel the sensation into the hamstrings. Maybe down into the calf, maybe even into the ankles. And from here, I want you to take your right foot and just, at least you can if you want, this is kind of your choice, but come out of the knife edge of your foot bringing the big toe up so that your sole of your feet is pointing outward to the side. Bending into the knee just a little bit to make a little bit of space for you. Perfect, breathe into the pose guys. Breathe into it. Turn up the breath, make it audible. Plant the foot back down into the ground. Now we're gonna just walk over to the other side. Woohoo! Turning around, yes. Finding where it's comfortable enough to stay for just a little bit. Plant the feet down into the ground, hips pulled together. Feel the sensation, feel everything that there is to feel. This is a really great pose for, so if you kind of feel the sensation within your legs and follow where the sensation leads to. So for me, I'm feeling it kind of in my hamstrings and it kind of comes down my calf and into the back of my ankle. That's kind of a fun practice to get into, kind of just feeling the lines of the sensation because your body speaks to you through sensation. So if you can follow where the sensation is coming from, maybe you can follow where it needs a little bit more love, right? Come onto the knife edge of your foot. Pressing down into the ground, yes. Still pulling the hips together, slight bend at the knees if you need. Perfect. Go ahead and bring the sole of the foot back to down, back to the mat. Go ahead and walk back down into that wide forward fold. Set the block off to the side. But keep the block actually a little bit near just in case you need it for the next pose. I'm going to be using it. So go ahead and inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. So from here, we're gonna walk the right foot forward until we have a little, until we have to bend the knee a little bit, okay? We're gonna press the butt down. And here we go. And you know what I'm feeling right now as a teacher because I don't remember the name of this pose. <laughs> so um, for now, we're gonna call it like a half squat. That's not right, but okay. Um, kind of like a ninja, we're going to press the toes, to the, the left toes 
away from you. And you're just gonna pull the hips to the other side, okay? Like a little ninja. Maybe we should call it ninja squat. Okay, so I like to use the block here as kind of like a sturdy foundation, especially a cork block, super great. So go ahead and reach, just plant down and then go ahead and pull the hips up. Perfect. And here you're really gonna make space, take it nice, slow, connect with the breath, okay? And the goal is to eventually get here, so where your heel is completely down and your hips are sunken back. However, that's probably not gonna happen for a while. So here is totally fine where you're just on the balls of your toes, okay? Just really be conscious and be careful and give your hips and your legs some love, okay? Take it slow and steady. Other side, yes. Yes. Inhale, clap. Exhale, other side. This is one of my favorites. It feels so good on the hips. Go ahead and press the toes. Yes. So on this next run, I want you to really just pause where, where it is bringing up a lot of sensation, where it needs some love, okay? So if that's here, kind of pause here, slow through it, almost as if you're gliding through water, okay? And don't fall, because I just did. <laughs> or you can, and that's totally okay. And notice how your body gets further and deeper into this kind of ninja movement, right? I've taken away my block because I've gotten a little bit deeper into the pose. And explore different regions of the pose. We're going to take just a couple more rounds, I know. Different corners of the pose. Really feel into it. I guess it's not much of a pose as much as a movement, right? We're kind of building momentum within our being, within our hips, within our legs. Go ahead and take each side one more time. All right, come back into that wide forward fold for just a moment. Slow down the breath. Walk the hands to the front of the mat. Go ahead and take the feet back into plank pose for just a moment. Low plank, upward facing dog. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Press back. Bend at the knees, hop forward. Forward fold. Rise up. Welcome back. Okay, so from here we're gonna come back as if we're about to go into a wide forward fold. A little bit wider than hip width distance apart is where you want your feet, okay? Kind of catch your breath, regather re your energy, okay? Go ahead and press down into the ground, root down, spread the toes. Go ahead and bring the arms up into a little bit of a V. I want you to really spread the fingers here, okay? Close the eyes. I want you to imagine um, like a bright light coming through you, down in, and releasing any negative energy, any energy that is not serving you. Imagine that energy coming, just floating down and disappearing into the ground, almost as if roots from a tree were just brooding into the ground, right? And I want you to imagine that bright white light 
or you can even do like a bright yellow light. Um, really just filling up your body, filling up your being and just bringing in all things positive, okay? Okay, root down to the ground, arms come up, closing the eyes, breath turns up, this is key. Spread the fingers, imagine the light. Bring a smile to your face. Three more breaths. Open the eyes and let the hands float down. Perfect. Now we're gonna come down onto the ground, take a seat. You have made it. Go ahead and just take a moment to kind of feel the effects, feel the effects of your practice thus far. Soak in, appreciate, give yourself love, compassion, Breathe in to the beauty that you have inside of you. Radiate that beauty outward. Fill up, soak in, exhale, let go, release. Okay, now we're gonna make our way into a pigeon pose, okay? So from here, we're just gonna come into a slight plank. I know we are just in these, but just for a second, you're going to bring the weight into the hands, bring that right knee forward and sink in, okay? Wherever your leg is comfortable sitting, please um, place it there, okay? So it doesn't matter how bent your knee is, as long as it's just kind of tucked up under you. You kind of tuck your foot up under your hips or eventually walk the foot up, right, okay? Go ahead and press the hips forward. Press the shoulders forward, and then your chest is going to kind of just slightly lift to the sky. I want you to really just stay here and just breathe. You can close your eyes if you want. Let your hips relax into the ground. And if you're feeling a lot of sensation in the hips, I want you to breathe into the hips. Breathe into where sensation is bubbling. Take a couple more breaths. Okay, now from here I want you to walk your hands out and down to the ground, bringing the forearms down. If this is enough for you, please stay here. If you can only get here, go here. Go to where your body says stop and stop there, okay? You can also, one of my favorites is if you're kind of deeper into it, you can place the block up and then rest the forehead. This is one of my favorites, actually. Really sink in, hone in. Close the eyes and feel. Breathe and feel, okay? I want you to bring a sense of gentleness to your body. To feel ease, calmness. Find stillness, connect to your breath. Deep 
deeper into the pose. Good, press into the hands, walk yourself up. Good, unwind. Yeah. And now I want you to just bring your feet around and switch sides. It can be graceful or not, doesn't really matter. You can come back into the plank if you want and find your way there as well, okay? Okay. Press the hands into the mat firmly. Breathe in, pull the shoulder blades together. Chest lifts to the sky. Yes. Find space within the pose. Find stillness. A smile to your face. Inhale. And exhale. Walk the hands out in front of you. Easy, gentle, slowly. Relax the neck and head where you can. If you have a block again, perfect. Relax into the pose. Really feel where the pose is working. Feel where you can find more breath, more space, more, more you. Deepen into the pose. Take a breath in, take a breath out, walk the hands up, unwind, turn around. Okay, grab your block if you have one. If not, again, um, you can use a blanket here even or just your hands. So whatever works for you, wherever you are right now, honor it and let's go. So from here, I want you to just lie down, okay? Press the feet into the ground. Kind of just feeling into the ground for a minute, kind of noticing any sensations coming up in your body, noticing how your energy feels, okay? And from here, we're gonna do just a little bridge pose. So plant your feet into the ground, walk your heels in towards the glutes and press the hips up towards the sky. Perfect. Making the core strong. Chin comes right to the chest. 
glutes pull together, relaxing down to the ground. We're gonna do that one more time. Pulling the glutes in towards each other, hips come to the sky. Making sure that your knees stay um, in towards each other and not out to the side, okay? This is gonna help you build a little bit more strength. Inhale, exhale, release. All right, grab that block, and you're just gonna pull it under your hips, okay? And from here, you're gonna take the feet to the sky, and you're just gonna let your feet kind of come in towards your head and dangle. Okay, so if you don't have a block, you can take a pillow, a blanket, whatever, and roll it up under your um, lower back, kind of where your glutes are, right? Or like, right, I want you to take your hands up towards your back and slide them down until you feel the top of your butt. And then I want you to just sit the, sit the hips down onto your hands and do the same thing, okay? If you need to adjust so that your, your hips fit better onto your hands, that's totally cool. You can even make like a fist to make a little bit more of a foundation. Whatever works for you, you can throw them up on the wall if you really want, okay? But for here, um, I think that there's benefit in not putting them up on the wall so that you get a little bit more fluidity, maybe. So that's up to you though, okay? For now, I'm gonna take the block because it is the easiest way. It gives it a little bit more of, um, more sturdiness, I guess, right? And from here, just let your arms float down to the ground. Go ahead and take your hands and bring your head out so that it, your chin meets down your chest or is headed that way. Close the eyes and breathe into the chest. Breathe into the pectorials, okay? Or the pectorals. <laughs> Let sensation come up. Let go, release any unneeded, unwanted energy that is no longer serving you, okay? This is your last chance to really let go and release. Your last chance to soak in the energy that you want to soak in. Be deliberate with your energy that you're soaking in, okay? Get specific. Let gravity do its job. You're not forcing, you're not controlling, you're just letting go and letting the pose take over. Your legs might get a little shaky, that's okay. We're gonna be here for a while, so settle in, get comfy. Take some time here to reflect, to evaluate. Maybe come back to the intention once again and rerun it through your mind. Create good thoughts here. What thoughts do you want to bring into the rest of your day? What feelings? What emotions? Where can you regather your energy to feel good today? Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Go ahead and 
bring the feet down onto the mat again. Slide the block out from underneath you. Bring the legs out long. Savasana, close your eyes. Bring stillness to your entire being. Relax the feet. Relax the ankles. Relax the toes. Relax the calves and the shins. Let the knees settle down. Relax the thighs and the hips. Let that lower half of your body sink into the ground. Relax the core, the abdomen, the spine, the hips. Relax the ribs, relax the breath. Relax the fingers. Relax the hands, the thumbs, the wrists. Relax the entire arm. Relax the shoulders and the chest. Relax the lips, maybe let them part. Relax the face and the tongue. Steady the eyes. Inhale, fill up, exhale everything. <sighs> wiggle the toes, wiggle your nose. Then stretch out. Roll to one side. Slowly make your way to that seated position. Hmm. Bring the palms together. Bring the right hand to the heart and the left hand over the right hand. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hey beauty. Thank you so much for joining me for a wonderful practice today. Go have a great day and spread you. Be more you and radiate your inner being. Okay? Hit the like button and please leave a comment about your favorite part of your practice and how it has helped you today. I'll see you next time on the mat. Namaste, Yogi.